three steps that I do before every print, and especially using dental model. Um, I always check my cartridge, and so close the valve. I check the bite valve itself, so I'll pinch it, just make sure it's flowing, there's no debris in the way, and then I'll give it a good shake, you know, the more the better. Give it a rotation, spin it around, and you'll notice that I'm holding here, and I'm holding here, so it's not getting resin everywhere, and it's on my gloves. That's another thing, always wear gloves doing this stuff. So sh shake it up, it's always good to mix up your resin. Once that's good, put it into place, pop that open, and now on the resin tank itself, you can slide this pretty fr freely. Uh, it doesn't hurt the machine, so I'll slide this over, pop out the um, the wiper here, and I'll take an, uh, a scraper like this one. Silicon is probably even better, but the important thing is it's never been used to scrape a bill plate. It needs to have a perfectly smooth uh, edge. You do not want to use anything with any burrs in it or nicks because you will hurt your resin tank doing this otherwise. And the, what I'm about to do will do two things. One is it mixes the resin, and two is it uh, you can check the health of the uh, resin tank itself. So I actually, at like a 45 degree angle, scrape across the entire resin tank, and as I'm doing that, I'm feeling for cuts, um, anything, any debris floating around. And for example, this resin tank looks really good. And, you know, this is getting any, anything that's sort of um, settled to the bottom mixed up. So our optical path uh, for the resin tank is as clear as possible. Go through the whole thing, slide it then over to the left. This is in, this resin tank is in perfect shape now. And then, so I've got some left over. I'll just scrape along the side like this. And then I'll just scoop it back down. And then that little bit extra, I just wipe on my glove as best I can like this. It's another nice thing about gloves. And then I just keep this next to all my printers. Snap this into place so the wiper is back good. The resin tank's good, the cartridge is good. And for me personally, what I like to do is when this process is done, this printer has now been checked, mixed, and ready to go. I put a clean and fresh fill plate in the printer. So for me, I can look over and be like, okay, that printer is ready to go. It's been checked and ready to print. Make sure it's all the way down, clip it in, and we're ready to start a job.